Hey guys, welcome back to CJ's Kitchen. Today I have a tasting of some things I picked up at the local Daiso store. I stopped in one night to get um, some other things for a video I was shooting um, and ended up, of course, picking up some food items too. So that video um, on the whole haul may be up by now. If it is, I will um, be sure to um, post it in the links or maybe up here in the um, in the on the i card. Uh, so anyway, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and just um, taste these things uh, for you. So first up, I have this um, ramen. I've never had re uh, miso ramen, and so I really wanted to try it. And uh, the brand here it looks like it's Goku Uma. So I'm pretty sure I've seen this brand at the Asian stores before. I also did get a tonkatsu one, but I went ahead and ate that one night already since I'd had um, tonkatsu ramen before. I just went ahead and jumped in and had it one night when I needed something. I, you know, instant noodles are handy for that. So, I'm just gonna open this up. And it's got the instructions right on the top. And just like most, you open the lid halfway. And this one has a couple packets inside. Um, this is miso soup, and this says it's the seasoning packet. And then it's just got the typical disc of noodles inside. So the instructions say to add the soup base and the seasoning packet before I add the water and then um, it's gonna sit for three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be back. All right, so it has been three minutes. Mmm, it smells really savory. Um, not really like anything in particular that I'm, you know, I mean, it smells like soup. Um, I'm not super familiar with miso, so uh, it's not a super familiar scent or anything. But the noodles look nice. Um, and springy and I feel like all the uh, Asian ones I've had have had pretty darn good noodles in it. These are a thinner noodle um, So let's give it a try mm. So the noodles are nice and chewy um, and springy. I did forget a spoon so one moment. All right, now I wanna try the broth. I did see when I put the packet in that there was, um, you know, what looked like green onions and some corn. I was disappointed there wasn't any egg, but. Mm. So it kinda of tastes like soy sauce a bit. Um, so it reminds me more of a shoyu ramen. And then I can taste like the onion. Um, and there's something deepening that flavor. It's probably the miso, but um, again, I'm not super familiar with miso, so I don't really feel like it's a distinctive flavor in here that I can identify. <laughs> mm. You know what though? It's a really gloomy day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's cold. Um, I think uh, the snow level was supposed to get pretty low this week. Um, supposed to get down around 2,500 feet and we're at about 12. So I'm gonna get some broth in there with the noodles. Mm. That's really nice. So I have to say that um, I'm really surprised at um, how good these are. The um, the veggies in it do seem a little bit skimpy, but other than that, um, there was quite a bit of the miso uh, soup base, and um, it's definitely a normal serving size. I'm not sure why, but I kind of had this perception that being Daiso store, that it would be kind of like our dollar stores, and therefore maybe be a skimpier product. But aside from the vegetables seeming a little skimpy, which could just be a brand thing, um, you know, I don't notice any difference in like quality. It seems uh, very good. So that's um, the miso ramen. I'm gonna set that aside. Take a drink of my Coke. Mm. Very delicious though. 
So the next thing is this yakisoba. Now I have never tried an instant yakisoba and this one says that it is oriental flavor with mayonnaise. Which, you know, I talk about this in the other video, in the haul video, so I won't get into it, but I was just really surprised to see um, a mayonnaise um, flavored noodle. But on top of that, I found out a couple days after I bought this, I happened to catch a video on Tabby Eats, and they did a whole bunch of instant yakisobas, and they had this one. Um, and I found out that this symbol here, which if you think about it, it looks like what it is. It's a mustard container. So it's actually mayo and mustard. So I don't know, I don't know what to think. Um, I do like mustard. I used to not like mustard at all when I was a kid, but I've grown to really appreciate it and there are things that I really like to have mustard in. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes for me. So just open that up. And again, here's the um, packaging. Now it's got the instructions on it. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do with this one is peel it back to the dotted line. There are four flavor packets inside and we're gonna remove those and then add the vegetable packet um, and the water. And then um, it's gonna sit for the three minutes and we're gonna drain it. And then we're gonna add the sauce, the mayo and the spices. So I think the mayo part is, and the, um, the spices are supposed to be almost like a garnish. So, okay. Okay, so it's been three minutes and I have to say I'm really excited to try this. So here it is. Um, it does have a lot of nice big pieces of um, cabbage in it, which is really great. Um, I will say that the sauce seemed really thin and I don't remember it being that thin in the video I saw. So again, wondering about quality differences, but anyway, I'm gonna dig in. Manja. Mmm. Okay, this is really different from any yakisoba I've ever had. Of course, I've never tried um, an authentic Japanese one. I hope that that's what this would be considered to be. Um, and I've mostly just had them with like chicken and stuff and um, at like teriyaki places. So yeah. Hmm. Get some cabbage here. Hmm. The cabbage is surprisingly flavorful and nice and crisp still without being um, like it's crisp like it should be and not crisp like it could be if it wasn't hydrated enough. So it's very nice. I will say the noodles seem a little bit dry. Um, again, they did seem like maybe they didn't have as much sauce and that the sauce was really, really watery. So it's pretty good though. I'm going to take one more bite here, try to get some cabbage in there with it. Yeah, it's not bad. I think the seasoning packet had some seaweed in it as well as some other seasonings. I can't distinguish much, but there's just a slight uh, seafoody uh, quality to it. Um, and then that mayonnaise gives it a little bit of a creaminess, but it's not like in your face mayo. So I'm not tasting really strong male flavors. Um, it's just like a creaminess that's there in the background. So I like this one. This is this is actually really good. And if I could find it at the Asian market and it looked, um, I will say that the packaging, the picture on the packaging looked the same as what the guys on Tabby Eats had, but it was a smaller version of the picture. Like I think theirs had the same packaging, but a really big, picture of what the yakisoba was going to look like when it was done. And this one just had it teeny tiny in the corner. So I do feel like there are differences in packaging. So I'll keep my eyes out for it. And if I can find it at one of the Asian markets, I'll pick it up and try and see, try it too and see if they're a little bit different or what. So pretty excited about that. I've been wanting to try these uh, instant yakisobas for a while and just none of them at the store ever seemed to um, jump out at me. So.
Mm. So I haven't ever tried any. So the last couple things I have are pokey. I have this beautiful, fabulous pokey. What I hope it's going to be beautiful, fabulous pokey anyway. So this one, I think these are both special editions and I'm pretty sure I also saw these on Tabby Eats at one point. This one is chocolate and it kind of looks, it looks very different from the typical chocolate. It almost looks like it has like dry cocoa powder, powder on the outside of the coating. So I'm really curious to see what this says. All it says on the package um, that I can really distinguish that might be of any use is it just says chocolate cream covered biscuits. <laughs> so pretty vague. Um, and then it's got a picture, another picture of them on the back. So I'm gonna try this one first and then I'll talk about the other one when I'm ready to try it. But so the packaging just opens like that and there's uh, a couple packets inside that have pokey in them. This is something I really love because, um, so this is supposed to be a whole serving. And what I really love is that it keeps it fresh so you don't have, um, you know, if you open the whole package, then some of it might uh, get stale before you have a chance to eat it. Not that it ever has a chance to do that around here. I absolutely have loved all the pokey I've had so far. So there it is, and excuse me, I think these were both special winter editions. And so I think that's what the, the dots are about, is like snow or something. And pull one out. And yeah, it looks very different. It also looks thicker, like there's more coating on it. The, the stick, uh, the biscuit piece seems to be the same dimension, so, but it looks like there's more, just more on it. So, manja. Mm. I always love the snap of the biscuit on these. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it does have kind of a dry coating on the outside instead of your typical chocolate that just hardens. It's, it looks like it's rolled in cocoa powder. It has a little more intense chocolate flavor. Um, I would still say it's milk chocolate. It's not dark, but it has that less sweet edge that um, dark chocolate has. Mm. I gotta have another one. They're just too good. Mm-hmm. So the chocolate is really creamy and smooth. And then it has that cocoa powder on the outside that just gives it that. It's just not as sweet as a lot of the other pokey that I've had. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's a winner. I like this. If I could get this, um, if I could choose between this and the regular chocolate pokey, I would probably get this if I had the option. Um, I like the other chocolate pokey a lot too though, so it's just that much better in my mind. So this one is pokey squeeze and it is mango. See the mango up there? So this is a chocolate cream colored biscuit stick pokey squeeze mango. It really doesn't say anything else or explain but this is one that I know was a special edition. I definitely saw them try this on Tabby Eats. And so again, it just opens up this way and then you've got your packets inside. This one has three inside. And notice that this one said it was $2. I think in Japan it was even more than that. But um, I think most of the pokey at the dollar stores or at the Daiso store is usually a dollar. I'm not positive I haven't shopped there that much. But anyway, there's three inside, and they're shorter than the other ones, just to show you. Let's see. They're shorter. So, they're lovely orange color. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. I've been so excited to try these. <laughs> Let me get this open. It doesn't want to open. Okay, that's why I have scissors. Oh, wow. It smells so 
fruity. Like you can really smell the fruit. Um, I haven't had a lot of fresh mango in my life. It does smell like mango though, but it also smells a little citrusy. So anyway, there it is. And again, it's it seems pretty thickly coated and it's on this shorter biscuit. So. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. The biscuit on this one has a little bit more of a crunch and then a snap. It's still a lovely texture. I really like it. And I'm really surprised I can definitely taste the mango. I do still feel like there's a citrus hint to it. Um, but it de definitely has a fruity flavor and I'm not tasting any chocolate. My assumption is that this would be like a white chocolate with the fruit juice added. Don't know. But I think that may have been what the 70% was about, like that it had 70% real juice or something. Mmm. The ingredients are in English. Woohoo. It does say mango concentrated juice and it's really early on in the, it's one of the first uh, four ingredients. Wow, I really like that. It's too bad it's a special edition because I would eat this a lot, I think. Well, probably just as well as a special edition because I would eat this a lot. <laughs> so, as always, I'd like to hear if you've tried any of these yummy treats. Um, what did, if you had these in particular, what did you think of them? I'm really curious um, to hear your opinions. And, you know, is there a yakisoba or instant noodle that you like? Is there something you'd like me to try? Have you seen something out there? So lots of questions for you as always, and I love hearing from you. Um, for all those who are new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, do please hit that button so that you can catch each and every video. And as always, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and uh, share with your friends. And until next time, when I see you right here in my kitchen, ciao.